two years ago I started making videos full time and I started following you back then and I just was like, okay, I will upload every single day because Gary is making so many videos. <laughs> yes. Content that, okay, how can I, I, I cannot do it. Of course I can. So yes. And now my channel just blew up and everything is great, all the success, but at the same time, I have heard you sometimes say that you wish that when you were younger you would party more and have more fun. Yes. And I'm also thinking about the same things that I can make my videos and yes. create my content, but at the same time, how about going to a beach and yeah. life and the weather and such? Look, I think it's it's a great question, especially what we're talking about. Look, I, I think that first of all, everything comes in context. I legitimately worked from 20 to 30, seven days a week, 15 hours a day, every single day. Like, I took no time, zero. So, do I wish that I took maybe a week, you know, a year? I do, um, but it also comes back to your point, which is, my biggest thing is, you know, you know, especially I always love when I'm in Europe because Europe always has this funny, you know, overlay, you know, I was born in, Eastern Europe, I grew up in the wine business so I spent so much time in Europe and Europe has a far more progressive point of view on work-life balance and things of that nature. For me, I don't care if you work 100 hours a week for the rest of your life or four hours a week, I think back to the energy that he was deploying and I think I can relate to it, you have to be respectful of your ambition. I think the biggest issue I have right now is people need to be more self-aware of what makes them happy. Yeah, exactly. You know, so for me, being a workaholic is far more happiness than not. Like to me, the process is my drug, not the stuff, not anything else. So I, you know, look, you're so young, you, you'll be able to accomplish all of it. You know, I, I, when people ask me what would I tell myself, sure, like, you know, I, I think about spending a little bit more time with my wife before kids, with, with my friends post college, but I don't, tr- I, don't, I don't regret it at all because it was what allowed me to have that foundation and I feel at 42 or 38, I feel like a kid, I feel like I can do a lot of things. They're different, there's different things when you're single with a family, there's a million different things. My biggest thing is you're not gonna know the alternative. The biggest thing about people looking backwards that I always try to tell, or when kids come to me or older people, like, they're trying to make a decision, I always try to remind them, no matter what decision all of you are gonna make, you're not gonna know what would have happened if you did the other thing. So I, you know, I think like, you know, people try to control things that are not controllable. You know, I'm sure both will work out. You know, could you go, you know, for example, let's say you leave here, inspired by other people's questions or things of that nature and you decide you're gonna take two weeks extra vacation that you would have never taken every year. In 11 years you'll be like, I'm so glad I did that. Why? Because you'll have these incredible experiences in Ibiza and Egypt and in New York, right? What you don't know is maybe if you did work those two weeks, one of those videos would have changed everything and all the other business and competitive things that you wanted to achieve would have been achieved yet you didn't get it because you went on the fucking beach in Ibiza. That is my problem. <laughs> and more importantly, you just won't know. You're gonna know what you do. You don't know what would have happened. Thoughts? Yeah, and you don't, I don't think you need to be thinking like, what if? Like, the only thing that really matters is like, just be really thankful for yourself and you're doing whatever you're doing. That's the main thing, I think. Like, it's like, and just like, say, thank you. Thank you, Ronnie, like you did this. And try to enjoy it, try to be present when you, when you do your videos. I think, I think when you listen to this, that's to me the ideological, altruistic, good feeling that, by the way, I live that. I, I live exactly like that. I also answered with the actual practical thing. I think a lot of times when people get crippled by these questions that I think we all struggle with, they don't go to the practical part. Brother, you're not gonna know. So when you're not gonna know, and you can be thankful for what you do know, it gets real simple. And I just think people are spending too much time dwelling or looking backwards or debating on things that ultimately don't play out. So, you know, I would go with whatever feels best at that moment. You know, you feel like you wanna take a vacation, take it. You don't, don't. I think way too many people are playing by the rules of the current state of what's politically correct instead of really listening to themselves. 
people give me unlimited parenting advice on DM and email, they don't know anything, I'm like you, I don't share anything about my family, they have no context, none. But they have an ideology of how they see it, they think I'm working too hard, I respect that, I understand. I also know that so many of my friends who work nine to five, when they go home, they watch TV and work on their phone. So you know, quality, quantity, relationships, what my wife and I grew up with affected how we see it. You know, our kids, the age of our kids, my eight and five, like there's a million different things. So I wouldn't beat yourself up.